Hey guys, welcome to a brand new YouTube channel. My name is Amanda, but I go by the name Amanda Rijeko on this channel, which actually are my two first names. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you tuned in. I really love it if you subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications because there's going to be a lot more coming your way. So my YouTube channel is going to be mainly about my life and I think I'm going to start focusing on my health because that's been the major thing going on with me presently. Um, and yeah, maybe I should actually start by telling you why I wanted to start being on YouTube. Um, I've wanted to be on YouTube for I think two years now, actually three because now we're in 2021. So I've wanted to be on YouTube since 2018 and the first niche that I was interested in was beauty and lifestyle. So I wanted to be like a beauty blogger, um, I wanted to do makeup tutorials, I wanted to do vlogs, I wanted to do reviews and stuff like that. Um, I think I procrastinated a lot because I felt like I wanted to just hit the ground running and I wanted to have all my equipment in order and I wanted to have all the stuff that I was going to show on my channel. I think I was actually doing a very good job at collecting the stuff. I had a whole lot of makeup. Um, I really loved putting on makeup. I loved putting on makeup to a point whereby I could risk being late for anything. I would prefer to drive in traffic as long as I had a proper beat. Um, another thing that made me to start being hesitant about starting a YouTube channel in beauty is that my eyes started changing. If you look at my eyes right now you will see that there's a difference in my eyes but I'm going to talk more about that in this video because that's actually the health part of what I want to talk about today. So eventually I kind of lost interest and I kind of just put brakes on it and then the start of 2020 I wanted to do a lot of work on my body because I had gained a lot of weight I had all of a sudden started eating a lot and I'm gonna talk more about that as well so I wanted to do a body transformation I wanted to take my body back to where I know it could go which is like extremely lean not extremely but very lean very sexy very toned um i just had a very nice body if i can say so myself like people that used to know me around 2013 2014 they can attest um i don't know if i can ever get back there though but i had a very toned body and my lifestyle changed um, I used to work for a company where I would start work at 9 a.m. So I would be in the gym from 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. And then between 8 and 8.30ish, I'll be preparing for work. So I used to be in the gym for three hours, like actively in the gym for three hours, not like, and I like walking about. I used to really push myself. I used to eat very, very clean. I remember even at work if um, our bosses gave us like takeaways and sodas I wouldn't even eat that I would just give it away because I, I didn't eat anything that was out of my diet so I used to eat very very clean um, I used to cook for myself um, I used to live alone actually at the time so I used to cook for myself I used to eat very very clean and lean food I used to just have like a very very healthy lifestyle and then I had to move on from that company because I got a better offer at another company but then I started working at 7 a.m. not 7 a.m. but 7.25 a.m. so I couldn't actually make it to the gym and push myself as much as I wanted to the other thing is I would knock off really late um, at, at the previous company that I worked it was 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and if you delayed you delay by maybe like 15 to 20 minutes max so you'd be out of there by 20 past half past six at like the very worst and then at this other company that I started working I started work at 7 25 a.m. which was an hour and a half earlier and I'll quite often finish well after 6 30 
so even if I wanted to do evening gym I still couldn't make it and I would be very very tired because this job really took a lot from me so that's when I started to slacken and that's when a slice of pizza actually wasn't a bad idea or a soda wasn't actually such a bad thing to drink etc etc anyway that's what happened so I'm telling you this because what then happened is in 2020 I had a vision of starting a YouTube channel and focusing on fitness fitness is gonna be great because I didn't really need to do any like up close videos like what I'm doing right now it's like pretty up close it's not very up close but you can see my face and you can see my eyes so if I was gonna get into fitness you wouldn't be able to see my face like up close <laughs> unless if I was doing an intro or something like that but anyway I was gonna work around it so I started doing my research I did a lot of research you guys because I really feel like if you're going to put out workout content you have to really research because people are different and people's bodies are different and people's goals are also different so I wanted my workouts to be diverse to a point where anyone could optimize my workouts for whatever their goals were whether it was muscle gain or toning or weight loss or just if somebody wanted to start getting active if someone hadn't really been working out and they wanted to get into some type of routine of which that was me I obviously wanted to tone I wanted to lose weight and to get into a routine because I hadn't been in a routine for so that was 2020 and the last time I consistently worked out was around 2015 so yeah i wanted to do that um so i started designing some um items of clothing that i wanted to wear on my channel like workout apparel um one of my cousins who is a designer actually designed three beautiful tank tops for me um and another aunt of mine who is also in the business um i would give her material and designs and we would work together and really produce really nice um, workout clothing that was tailor-made for my body because we would be together and she would um, you know measure measure my waist measure everything and cut out patterns specifically for me everything was just going so amazing I was loving it um, yeah but I still kind of procrastinated a bit um, because when I initially thought of doing it, I think it was around probably April, May 2020. And these things that I'm talking about were happening around August 2020, which was about four, three, three, four, five months after I initially thought about it. So I felt like there was a bit of procrastination. But just imagine, like in that three, four, five months, I was doing active research on the daily like this thing I was so passionate about I was anyway so what then happened is I actually got a sponsorship from a company that I was buying workout equipment from which was amazing um, kudos to that company because <laughs> they had faith in me even before I released any um, content um, so I was very happy I was so proud of myself I was so proud of my progress and then something happened what happened is that um, it was in September I had gone out of the house I was in the CBD I was sorting out some stuff and then I got home to actually realize that there was or there had been a fire in my bedroom in my closet so this fire was so big um, and it burned a lot of stuff that was in my closet including I'd say about 95% of my clothes the only clothes that weren't in my closet were clothes that were waiting to get washed which are clothes that stay somewhere here where I'm looking oh by the way I'm actually in my room the room that was on fire so the clothes that survived were somewhere around the where I'm looking right now and my closet is directly in front of me. So the clothes 
that burnt included that, all that stuff that I had put together for my workout channel. I'm so glad that my equipment survived, my workout mat survived, my dumbbells survived, um, but a lot of my clothes were burnt, a lot of them. And I had a lot of clothes, so I had to start my wardrobe from fresh, or almost fresh. So what happened is that a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, which is the other reason why I could not start my YouTube channel, <laughs> but it's a good reason. Please don't get me wrong. But a friend of mine, she when I told her about the fire, she said, look, I think you need to get a job and I think you need to start figuring out what to do because, you know, now that there's been a fire and you've lost a lot of your stuff, you just need to you just need to figure things out. So she helped me get a job. She she's very far away. She's overseas, but she helped me find a job. Which I'm very grateful for. I got a very good job with a very good company. Um, people ask me, I think, daily how I got in and they want to get in as well and all that stuff. So it is a good job with a good company. Um, but this job is a nine is an eight to four job, Monday to Friday, and then on a Saturday we still go in eight to one PM. So for the type of workout content that I wanted to release I just could not find the time to continue I already had footage um, by the time the fire happened I had footage um, I had footage for about a week um, but I couldn't I couldn't continue I couldn't continue because I didn't have time anymore first of all and secondly I didn't have clothing to be on YouTube and YouTube is like this very daunting space to be in because everyone that's on YouTube is very well researched and very well presented they know their stuff they know their niches they know what they're doing they've got good quality cameras they've got very dope editing software and stuff like that you can't just go on YouTube and just look flimsy you know what I mean so I had to park that but anyway what then happened is that while I was working one Saturday actually what happened is it was it wasn't the same week but then on a Tuesday somebody approached me asked to speak to me about something personal I was like what is it and he said he wanted to talk to me about my eyes my eyes looked like what his brother's eyes looked like and it turned out to be a heart problem for his brother so he urged me to seek medical attention of which I had been wanting to seek medical attention but for my eyes some days they would look really aligned and other days they would look skew so I thought it was something to do with um, just my well-being so I felt like on days that I was okay I, my eyes would also be okay and on days that I wasn't okay then my eyes wouldn't be okay so yeah and then that same Saturday, um, a doctor came through to my place of work. He asked to speak to me about something personal. So I preempted him and I was like, my eyes. And then he said, yes, your eyes. So he gave me his business card, asked me to get in touch with them as soon as possible, said it was very urgent. So later that afternoon, I was in touch with him. He gave me a list of symptoms which I already had been experiencing. He said that um, I may have been experiencing heart palpitations, increased appetite. Um, what else did he speak about? I keep forgetting. Tremors, um, like shaking, um, a swollen throat or a swollen neck rather. I think he mentioned five things. and. I had experienced four of the five things. The only thing that I hadn't experienced was a swollen neck, of which, now that I think of it, my neck may have been swollen in the past, but I just was not vigilant of it because I had experienced choking. I could choke on food, I could choke on water, I could choke on my own saliva. And I had had a very bad choking experience, I think, um, three or four weeks prior to meeting him where I actually choked in my sleep and I woke up choking 
and I tried so hard so many times to get a breath in and I just couldn't the only thing I could do was cough so I would cough and cough and cough and then try and get a breath in and I just couldn't get a breath in and then I would still want to cough so I'd continue coughing and I was just out of breath and I couldn't breathe and I think it happened for over a minute and a half I'm not sure how long it happened but it was a very long time and then finally I managed to get a but it was after a long time um, of trying to get um, of trying to get a breath in so it was very scary and well now that I think of it maybe I actually did have a swollen throat when I would choke like that so he ordered a test for me and then I went and I got my test done and it came back positive for hypothyroidism and hypothyroidism is it will be over it's overactive um, and therefore it causes you to have heart palpitations it causes you to um, shake and have tremors um, also hypothyroidism is associated with hypermetabolism so you metabolize your food very quickly you're always hungry hence the appetite so you're always hungry and you eat a lot but then even though you eat a lot your food gets metabolized very very quickly and in no time at all you're hungry again and i remember when i started this job that i'm telling you guys about i used to eat a lot of food i used to eat in the morning before i left then when i get to, to work at around 7 20 i'll eat again then i take a break at around 10 10 a.m and i'll eat again take another break around 2 p.m and I'll eat again um, as soon as I finish work at 4 p.m. I'll be eating when I would get home at 6 p.m. I'll eat again Before bed at like 10 o'clock. I'll be eating again around 3 a.m. I could actually wake up to eat But obviously I wouldn't gain weight because the food was getting metabolized very very quickly So the other thing that hypothyroidism causes is a difference in the eyes like your eyes start bulging out um, even like like if, if you were to look at my side profile um but these days it's a lot better so there really isn't much to see but like my side profile sometimes my eyes would be bulging out so badly it would look scary um hypothyroidism also causes people to have low self-esteem because i mean who's not going to have low self-esteem if their eyes are looking skew and if they're shaking um the tremors that I was experiencing was so bad to a point where I had started dropping things so it was really bad um, it was a bit of a relief to find out that all these symptoms were you know all related and they all emanated from one um, illness because at some point in time I thought there was a lot of things wrong with me I'm not underestimating the disease or the illness. I'm not saying it's like, oh, it's an okay disease or anything like that. It was very, um, how can I say? When I found out that I had hypothyroidism, I was, like my world was shaken. Honestly speaking, my world was shaken. So anyway, I am currently taking treatment for hypothyroidism. The first thing that I'm taking is called carbimazole, which is meant to stop the hormone production, um, like the thyroid hormone production. The second one is called propranolol, which is a beta blocker used in patients with um, high blood pressure, because hypothyroidism actually causes high blood pressure. My blood pressure hadn't got into a bad state to where I need to be treated for high blood pressure although I am taking propranolol which is a beta blocker which is something that's used um, for high blood pressure or in high blood pressure patients um, so propranolol has really helped to regulate my heartbeat I don't get palpitations anymore um, I also don't get tremors anymore I'm way past dropping things I don't even remember the last time I had a tremor my eyes are looking a lot better though they are still skewed um, but they're looking a lot better um, now that I know that hypothyroidism is what caused me to have like crazy crazy appetite I have since started to work um, to work on my appetite I stop myself from eating a lot 
um, I haven't really seen any changes in my body in terms of like major weight loss because now I'm not actually feeding my body too much even though my body metabolizes the food very quickly um, I'm trying to get into healthier eating um, because not only was I eating a lot but I was eating a lot of junk I'd have a lot of donuts and burgers and fries and fried chicken and um, cookies oh my gosh I love cookies but lately I've been eating a bit better I eat more fruits and I eat um, I eat yogurt like plain yogurt um, I'm getting into seeds like eating seeds which is something that I used to do back in the day when I was at my healthiest so yeah I'm, 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 t I'm currently taking treatment um, the opposite of hypothyroidism is called hypothyroidism and this is when you've got the opposite symptoms of what I currently have so when you have hypothyroidism you have um, your, your heart rate becomes slower you you still get a like your eyes still are affected but then they don't bulge instead they might actually get like dark circles or like very thin and wrinkly skin around the eyes um, you might not get like major appetite you might not even eat a lot but you will still gain a whole lot of weight because your food does not get metabolized as quickly as when you have hypothyroidism um, and hypothyroidism which is what I'm suffering from so the terms are very similar one is hyper and the other is hypo but hypothyroid, hypothyroidism what I'm suffering from um, can be caused by taking too much iodine so too much salt um, of which I don't think that me suffering from hypothyroidism means that I took too much salt because I try and avoid salt but I don't know what caused it but yeah it's there so when you have hypothyroidism you're not supposed to take iodine and you're definitely not supposed to take anything that comes from the sea so no seafood because that's rich in iodine um so yeah so that's me that's what i wanted to talk about in this video i'm definitely going to give you guys more updates about my health as they come in I'm also going to be talking a lot about my life and my experiences and what I go through and I'm not saying what I go through like bad things <laughs> but I mean just the stuff that happens in my life I, I plan to put all of that on my YouTube channel I definitely will do some workout videos I, I work out a lot these days I, I work out the most since um, around the time that I spoke about earlier where I was very active um, so I'm definitely going to be putting some of that on my YouTube channel as well I don't know if there's anything that I left out oh yeah I wanted to talk about side effects of my medication I I don't think I have had any side effects but there's a week or two that I was cramping very badly because I would just have a cramp especially in my toes where one of my toes goes forward and just stays there and I couldn't get it to come back and it would hurt so badly it would hurt so badly for a very prolonged period of time I think for over a minute at a time and then there's also a time where my sheens like both of them would be cramping at the same time so both in both legs like I would get a cramp in exactly the same spot and I couldn't actually move both my legs but that happened for I think a week or two after that I didn't experience it I wanted to check it out on Google um, I wanted to tell my doctor but I, I think I forgot because it would happen like at night and it would be at a time where I couldn't actually like pick up the phone and call him and then in the morning I'll be fine and I'd go to work and I'd still be fine so yeah um, I think I think I covered everything that was in guys there. thank you so much for joining me on my first ever YouTube video I really hope you enjoyed this video and you're going to subscribe to my channel turn on your notifications and share this video with absolutely everybody guys I'm so excited to finally be on YouTube and I plan to make the most 
offered and i hope you guys enjoyed the journey thank you so much once again for tuning in and i will see you in the next video cheers Yes. Yes. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you tuned in and thank you so much for joining me. So excited. Um